Hello guys, Mr. Fluffy Pants here, and today guys we're going to be reviewing The Conjuring 2, which is the second movie, or actually technically the third movie in The Conjuring universe whenever it first came out, which this movie came out back in 2016 and was, you know, the direct sequel to The Conjuring, which came out in 2013, which I did do a review for last year, and I also did a review for Annabelle Comes Home whenever that came out earlier this year, but hopefully I'll get around to reviewing all The Conjuring movies because I love every single one of them, even the, uh, you know, the ones people don't really like like too much but i personally like them but the conjuring 2 a lot of people consider us to be just as good if not a little bit better than the the first conjuring which for me personally i think i do like the original conjuring just a little bit more but i mean this one is a better movie technically but i don't know you just it's really hard to beat that you know original one but if i was to compare this to the original one i would definitely put this just a smidge just a little bit below you know the first conjuring but Pretty much this one centers around the infield poltergeist case which is really you can look it up and all and some of the stuff in this movie is like like dead on accurate to some of the supposedly documented paranormal activity there like um which i mean this fan is pretty much uh you know plagued by this poltergeist of uh you know at first we kind of think it's this bill wilkins guy who apparently died there and you know they did the they do the interview with the girl and then bill wilkins starts talking through her which is actually like a real thing you can look it up and it straight up sounds just like that like that the movie's pretty much got that spot down like you can just listen to like the actual clip and like the movie's pretty much just copy and pasted it which you know does work because i mean the real because sometimes fiction is uh just like life i mean it really is that creepy but um and you know we learned out later that you know the demon valak or the nun uh which you know eventually gets her own spinoff uh is controlling and kind of manipulating the situation and um you know you get a whole ba uh uh, like a whole subplot with the Warrens, which I mean, of course, the Warrens are the best part about any of the Conjuring movies they're in because I mean, you gotta love the Warrens. But uh, we, we learned that Lorraine is, uh, you know, so worried about uh, for all these years is uh, her premonition of Ed's death, and you know, that kind of comes to fruition in the final act of this movie where you know things start lining up and you know, he's pretty much gonna die, and you know, it kind of feels sad because I'm like. He, he actually might die because you know you actually feel like worried for him that he's gonna die uh in the third act which i'm really glad they didn't but if they did i mean they set it up really well um but like i said i'm glad that they didn't um but this movie definitely does deliver on the scares i will say um like first of all one of the creepiest scenes out of all the conjuring movies is when they see the demon Valak at uh, the Warren's home uh, down the hallway and you see it walk. Oh my god, it's just so creepy just the way it's just sta the way the demon's just standing there. And then with the whole painting thing where she gets behind the painting and like, you know, uh, like comes out of the painting. Oh my god, it's just so, so great. And you know, some of this uh, jump scares are really well done. And you know, if you got me, and you know, of course you got the Crooked Man, which is so creepy. Um, he needs his own movie, I'm just saying. But I mean, the Crooked Man is just so creepy. But I mean, this movie definitely does deliver on the scares. And like I said, not as great as the, or not as I don't, I wouldn't say, like, it's probably up there, like, quality-wise with the first one, but, like I said, I just enjoy the first one just a little bit more, and I can't really remember what I gave the first one when I reviewed it, if I did give it a rating, I'd probably give the first one probably a, a 9.1 out of 10, so I'd probably give The Conjuring 2 probably an 8.9 out of 10, a really good uh, horror movie, and definitely one of the best horror franchises of recent years, and if you have not seen any of them yet, I would definitely, you know, suggest it, because um, one of my personal favorites is, you know, some of the Annabelle movies which a lot of people don't like but I really personally enjoy and you know there is the Conjuring 3 coming out next year which I am excited for but unfortunately it's not directed by James Wan like the first two Conjuring movies were which you know I love James Wan he directed Aquaman which is you know outstanding but I mean, this, this franchise, you know, is really, really great. And, you know, The Conjuring 2 is definitely a solid entry in the franchise. But, anyway, guys, check out my Twitter and Discord link in the description. And, uh, like I said, I did do a review for the first Conjuring last year. But, uh, uh, like and subscribe for more. Check out some other videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!